Hello there, I'm your friend Dave and today we will be booting Ubuntu 15 which is just launched with Windows 10. First things first, you need to backup your data, free up a partition for at least 20 GBs where you will be installing Ubuntu. Then always keep in mind the possibility of losing everything, all of your data if anything goes wrong. You need to download the Ubuntu 15 ISO file which you will get on Ubuntu's website. Then the warning is do follow the instructions as they are. Then secure mode, you will be seeing what the secure mode is but to be brief you need to disable the secure mode. There are two types of mode basically the UEFI and legacy. It is better to install in UEFI enabled mode else if it isn't allowing you to install then you need to disable UEFI and try installing it. The legacy mode is usually for the older versions of Windows which is not none of our use for now. Then. Search for the key to enter by setup in advance. First, we'll be opening run by clicking Windows R key, then typing in diskmgmt.msc to open Disk Management Utility. Hitting OK. Then, in the Disk Management Utility, we will be creating a new partition where we'll be installing Ubuntu. To do that, select a partition where you have enough space. Then, on selecting that partition, say for example, backup. Here. Then I will be clicking on shrink volume. Here you need to enter the space which you need to shrink or the size of the volume that you need to create. It should be lesser than the free space. Say for example 4 GBs. Shrink it. The 4 GB unallocated space will be used for installation of Ubuntu. Close it. Then you need to restart your PC. Now what you need to do is install the universal USB installer on your PC. This is the website. You need to scroll down to download the installer. This will be used here. The, here is the link. As I have already downloaded, I won't be downloading it. This installer is used to copy or write your ISO disk file onto your pen drive. Select the operating system here by opening it. Then here you need to specify the ISO file, browse it, this is the ISO file. Then click here the, pen, the path of your drive, it, it should be a flash drive or a pen drive. It is better to format it, make sure there is no data, then hit on create. This will just give a warning. Uh, now it will be formatting your pen drive and writing the ISO disk file onto your pen drive. The procedure for any operating system is same for writing it onto a pen drive. So I have skipped it. The installation procedure is complete. Close it. Then you need to disable your secure mode. Here you need here in this my, my PC in boot menu there is secure boot which is enabled. My operating system works but in case if it doesn't disable it. Hmm. So Ubuntu is booting now. Open to 15.04. So, this is the installer. I have performed this procedure on VirtualBox just in case. Just to record it, you need to click on install Ubuntu by selecting language. Make sure that this much space is available, that your power source is plugged in, and hit on continue. Then you can also install it alongside Windows 8 but I won't recommend it. You can also erase your disk completely in case if you don't want to dual boot but we will be doing something else because we need to create partitions. So something else and hit continue. Now in this here you will get to see a list of all the partitions that are already there. Here I have installed Windows and here you can see the free space. So here is where we will be installing Ubuntu. So first before doing that we need to create a swap partition. To do that we need to click on this plus here. Then logical beginning of the space it's ok. Here you need to select swap area. Click here. Then enter a swap space which should be 1 by 10th or 2 by 10th of your space. Then hit ok. A swap partition will be created. 
the swap partition is created now you have to install ubuntu in this free space again click on the plus button then leave it as it is leave the space and here we'll be clicking on backslash and forward slash sorry and okay okay the partition is created here is where we'll be installing ubuntu in actually you need to select your location then continue the keyboard it can also detect your keyboard i am using english us so i'll be continue after proceeding you have to enter your username here name whatever it is your password then everything is fine let's click on continue the installation procedure is going on i'll be skipping this considerably the time consumed by this procedure is will vary from 15 minutes to maybe even an hour depending on your hardware configuration you have you don't have to do anything here then i think the installation procedure is complete here you need to restart your system now click on restart now done windows 8 loader is there ubuntu is there let's see what is there in ubuntu well so far it's going fine yes it is booting enter your password tuck, tuck, tuck. currently i am disconnected you can install your updates after logging in so this is new ubuntu 15.04 a few shortcut keys none of our use so far okay so you are done thank you for watching this video friends if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you stay tuned